Hi everyone, Alberto here with BIM Lounge. Make sure you don't miss any of our weekly BIM productivity videos. In this 2 Minute Tuesday, I'll show you a few of the shortcuts that are going to make your Revit life a lot easier. In this particular one, I'll be focusing on file management type of shortcut. The ones that are going to be most useful, especially now that a lot of us are working from home. Let's get to work. So first I'd like to go through all the shortcuts in this order. So the first one would be Control N for new project. I also use this not just to start a new file, but also to open the container file I used. I made a video about this. Uh, you'll find a link in the description. Next is Control O for open. And this obviously works for Revit projects, families, and templates. Next is Control S. This simply saves the file. Next is Control P for print. This is probably one of the commands that you would use the most. And then next is Control W to close the current file. This is very useful if you're trying to find content and you're opening and closing files. You would uh, do Control O and Control W and that will save you some time and uh, probably some sanity. Next, I'd like to show you how to add more shortcuts still within the file management realm. So if you go to File Options, you'll see that in the user interface, you have keyboard shortcuts and you can customize and add new shortcuts here. Now, interestingly enough, there's a shortcut for the keyboard shortcuts. So I'm gonna X this out and show you. So if you hit KS, you would access that directly, which again, we're saving time by not having to go through the file menu. If you look for sync, I like to keep this as SC and you can assign the shortcut that you like. Now let's search for work sets. And I like to assign this. I like to assign, for example, WS. And that seems to be available. And another one that I like is manage links. Especially if you're handling heavy projects and that's available too. So now I can sync to central, so SC, and let's try work sets, and then of course manage links. Now let me know if you have any questions, and also let me know if you have any good shortcuts to share, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.